Hi guys, it's me, Tori, also known as Joe Goss and Lover 170. Cup questions. Why are we in my room? Why are you staring at my messy bed that I did not make this morning? And why, honestly, are you in my closet? If you watch my room tour, but if you haven't, you're in my closet. I don't know. Well, I decided I made a little contest and it was where I should keep my makeup in my room or in my closet. Well, or my, my, my room or my bathroom. A lot of people said room. One person said bathroom, but I didn't, I didn't go for that. Because if you keep your makeup in your bathroom, your bacteria will, like from the steam from the shower, bacteria will make, like, fill up in the sides, like, of an eyeshadow. You see, like, the rim area, the bacteria will make, build up in there, and you have to throw out your makeup before you've even got a use of that a little bit. I've had had that problem twice with two eyeshadows, but they were, like, drugstore ones, so I really didn't care. So, they were, like, a dollar ones. I think they were... When was I think so? So I'm keeping my makeup in my closet, in my closet, and I'll show this to you. So it's on the first shelf, and there's like my makeup and hand sanitizer and brushes and stuff. But first, before I get into that stuff, I have a haul. So I'm going to show you. So I got these Almay oil-free makeup remover towelettes. They're from Almay, and they have cucumber, green tea, and aloe. So, I'll keep those. And you want to store your makeup wipes upside down so the moisture is evenly diverse. But if you keep it like that, all the moisture will sink to the bottom. Then I got a mascara. I got Wet n Wild H2O Proof Mascara. I just got these like five minutes ago, so I haven't been able to use them out. That's the brush. I'll use it and then I'll see how it works. I'll do a review on it, guys, in one second, okay? Okay. Okay, one sec. So, this is in 8.95 black. So, this is what my lashes look like. I had no mascara on before this, just to let you guys know. So, that's what they look like now. I really like this. I just used it once, but I really, really like it. That's what it looks like. So, yeah. So, now I'm just going to give you an overview of where I store my makeup. I'm not going to do it in depth because I've already done a couple in depths before. I think I've done two. So, I'm just going to do, like, an overview, okay? But I'm going to, like, just show you what's in each drawer, Okay. So, I'm sorry if you're not getting the best view. I'm recording with my MacBook, so, yeah. Okay. So, here is makeup. I have, like, eye stuff down there, face, lip stuff in the top one, and then face stuff in the middle. And then back there, I'm... Okay. Right back here are all my Bath and Body Works, um... Hand sanitizers. This is in Sweet Pea. This is in Midnight Pomegranate. Fresh Lemon. And a special edition holiday one, Winter Candy Apple. I have, I also have Coconut Lime, but that's in my purse and that's downstairs. But that goes in the middle. Then I have my mirror and a palette that I got from Ulta for about $9.99. So, that's the palette. It comes with a bronzer, a blush, six eyeshadows, and six lip glosses. Then it comes with a sponge tip and a lip. The bronzer is really nice, and those are really nice. And I haven't really had a chance to try out the lip products, but I will. Sorry, my glasses are down there. Okay. Then over here, you can see me in the mirror. Hi, guys. And then over here, I have my Kabuki from Essential Beauty, a dollar store brush, makeup remover, and Fix Plus. Wait, hold on. It's locked. 
Next, I have all my brushes, like concealer brush. I have like all the brushes that I use a lot in the back, so I don't have to rummage through them all. And then the ones that I use oh, don't use a lot are in the front. Oh no, you would usually keep it backwards, right? But I don't. Then over here, I have a bunch of extra like lip products and stuff. Lip like lip product and a lipstick in. Tiramisu, and like an eyeshadow from a uh, beauty rush, and just a random like some like a blush back there, and just blush, and like an eyeshadow palette, and a homemade eyeshadow, and like some samples that I made, and a mega eyes from Wet like, Wild in Cornfire Blue. But, um, not too much in here, but just a bunch, bunch of, like, random lip products that I do use often, but I don't feel like keeping them in my lip product drawer, because I don't use them as much. So, sometimes I'll keep my camera down here, but sometimes I'll keep it up where I just had it, if I'm doing a tutorial or something, but I don't know. Do I have any makeup in here? Nope. Just wanted to make sure. So that's my updated makeup like storage. I keep it in my room, so a lot of my videos are gonna be in here. Some are still gonna be in the bathroom, don't worry. But I just decided to keep it in my room. Oh, also this is a, like a purse, but I use it as like a school makeup bag, and that's like the inside. It's a Japanese um purse. I got it at a like Saray luggage, I think. I don't remember. And this is all like candy wrappers and stuff. This was twenty twenty dot no. 15, 15 or twenty dollars. I don't know. So yeah, I might be getting a folder one of, of one of these for Christmas. I don't know. So that's my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, request, subscribe. This is a four birthday gloss. Um. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, I also keep the stool that I'm sitting on over here. Right there. Right there. Right in there. Right there. I just slide the stool into there. And then I bring it out when I want to sit on it. So I hope you have a great day and maybe a video after this coming up. Alright guys, bye.